Are you ready for some Jersey? Well, we've got Jersey. The zipper was made here. The light bulb was made here. The color television calls the Garden State home. Everybody wants to know about New Jersey. Sandy beaches, beautiful cities. We even have the Jersey Turnpike. Inventors, music, the movies. You need an exit? We got them too. You want Jersey? This is Jersey. Coming up on this edition of This is Jersey, we're in Atlantic City today at the New Jersey League of Municipalities Conference. Now that the conference has begun, we'll talk to Andrew Kudrick, the new Chief of Police in Howell Township. Now you have a long history in Howell Township. I think it goes back to the fire department. Tell me about that. A lifelong resident of Howell. I, I grew up in, in town, uh, was heavily involved in the fire department. My dad is a lifelong uh, firefighter volunteer. And that's how I started off. I was contemplating on being a, a firefighter, probably just most like all the other young kids and become a career firefighter up until I saw the first Howell Police black and white roll into the parking lot of the fire station. And right then and there, I knew what, what I wanted to do. Now you started out volunteering in, uh, as a teenager, right? I did, I did. Actually, when I was 13 years old, I started off as a, as a fire cadet, uh, became a captain of the fire cadets. And then I transitioned over to become a, a police explorer. And that was on my 16th birthday. I walked into police headquarters, signed up, and here I am today. Now, I'm guessing you became chief in your early 40s. You were one of the youngest, correct? Pretty young. I, I became chief at, at 40 years old. 40. So, uh, like I said, a lot of people said, oh, you're, you're young to be a chief. Well, I may be young to be a chief, but I've been in the police service for 20 years. Now, policing is not easy today. You have a lot of challenges, even in a suburban area like Howell Township. How many officers do you have? Uh, 90 officers, 90. plus 10 part-time special, so 100-man police department. So what is it like being an officer today? It's very challenging. You have to be very intelligent. Uh, the case law is constantly changing. Policies and procedures are constantly changing. Uh, training is more comprehensive than ever. I proud myself to say that I believe that Howell Township police officers are one of the most highly trained in the state. In fact, a lot of our personnel train other police officers in throughout the state. And a lot of technology too in police work. Yes, and that's where the younger generation comes in. Uh, obviously I've kept up with the technology not being that that old. Uh, a lot of the other older guys, they struggle with it. They struggle with the computers, they struggle with the technology, because obviously we all know it constantly changes. Uh, the younger officers, that's all they rely on. They rely on the technology. Uh, uh, the laptops, uh, the smartphones, the tablets, that's what they're used to. You give them a typewriter, they don't know how to use it. And how are you handling social media in the police work? Back a few years ago, I knew that connecting with the community was very important, especially in these times of strained community relations with the police and the community. It was vital for me to reach out and bring that community in with the police department, showing that transparency. A couple years ago, we, we realized that uh, Facebook, uh, Twitter, Instagram uh, was important for our police department. So we set up the Facebook account uh, it didn't really push it too much up until uh, I became chief and then we started pushing out a lot of information, connecting the community with our police department. I'm very transparent. I like having that relationship with the community. Uh, input is extremely important to me and based upon what they've told me, I've, I've made changes within the police department. Do you have bulletproof vests for all of your officers? We do. In fact, we have even higher level tactical vests in the trunks of all of our patrol vehicles, including ballistic helmets. and. You know, the state and also the federal, they, they supply us with a grant. We apply for it every year. Uh, we're lucky enough to receive funds for that. Uh, the average life, life of a vest nowadays is about three years. And at $1,000 a piece, at a minimum $1,000 a piece, on a 100-man agency, that could be a, a huge expense. But fortunately, we can offset that with the cost of grants and also our community-based uh, police charity programs that we have. I know several of your vehicles have the readers that, that detect the license plates. How valuable are those in police work? The LPRs are an amazing technology. Uh, with the officer having to pay attention to everything that's going around him, paying attention to the call that comes over the computer, paying attention to heavy traffic that being right in front of him, the radio traffic, the LPR automatically runs plates of vehicles coming at him, going away from him, next to him. So it's almost having a second officer in a car running all the plates 
which I, I did as, as a police explorer for the officer that, that I used to ride with. So it's, it's constantly running those plates and feeding that information to the officer. Once it recognizes an unregistered or wanted person, it automatically alerts the officer, shows the license plate, shows the vehicle that it's on, so the officer can now pinpoint that vehicle and strategically go after it. What's the future of police work? Technology. Technology is driven. I mean, you see here today, everything is technology-based. Police officers have to be a lot smarter nowadays. It's not about you know the biggest and strongest officer anymore. It's about the smartest officer. Being up on all the case law, uh, being connected with the community, listening to the community. Years ago, police departments really didn't listen to, to the community, which probably most likely led to a lot of the problems that we, that we see today. Police departments nowadays, especially police chiefs now, are recognize that and now they realize the, the advantages of bringing the community to the police department. So the officers have to be a lot smarter today than, than they were years ago. Thank you for joining us for this edition of This is Jersey. We'll see you again next time.